All right, so today we're gonna to be checking out something that um, that I don't really deal with all that much. This is a 65 uh, Dodge Dart. This is a pretty quirky, interesting, odd little car. That's really the best way I describe it as. Um, it's not exactly as it seems, um, and it's uh, it's got uh, some interesting features and things that uh, you just wouldn't expect from a car from, from back in the day. Uh, it's pretty fun to drive, so I'm gonna open it up and walk around, and we'll take it for a drive and kind of show you what a, uh, a 1965 Dodge Dart looks like. All right, so let's start off on the, on the looks. Again, I'm not an American Muscle Car expert. There's too many half-year changes, model specific add-ons and stuff that I just don't know all the details on. And, and when like when you're dealing with any car that's over 60 years old, you know, there's always going to be body and mechanical changes that aren't original. Um, this one has some period add-ons and touches that uh, kind of speak to the era. Um, you know, it's 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 just a, it's an interesting little ride. So, real quick rundown: this this is uh, a 225 slant six, uh, four-speed manual car, um, which is pretty neat. Um, gray interior. It's got gray exterior paint. I'm pretty sure at one time it was a light blue color. Um, you can kind of see maybe there and in the engine bay once I pop the hood um, what the original color might have been. Um, originally it was a, it's a Pennsylvania car from the original title and everything you can see. Um, again, we, we believe the mileage is original, but who really knows? But yeah, do just do a, a kind of a quick walk around. Again, lots of interesting little touches, features, chrome pieces on here that really make this thing uh, stand out. Um, I think the fact that it is a, a coupe and with, with an electric uh, soft top, which that soft top is electric and it does work, really kind of sets it apart. Um, you know, the V8 cars, I forget if they're like a 270 or 280, I can't remember what the, the motor is. Don't quote me on motors, there's just too many. Um, are probably slightly more desirable, but as far as rarity is concerned, uh, I believe this is uh, an interesting one. Um, I, I, I'm not really super partial to the back end. Um, it kind of looks like a, a period Chevy. Um, the front to me looks pretty good. Um, it definitely looks mean. I mean, it's got that good squared off muscle car look. Um, again, drives like a boat. And if you really think about what other cars European wise that this thing would have been up against in the sixties, um, you know, you picture this next to a TR6 or an Austin Healy or something like that. And you, you understand why, you know, people have their tastes or tastes went one way or the other. And uh, the handling differences and the power differences are, are quite large. Um, but for what it is, this one's, uh, this one's cool. So we'll, uh, we'll jump in. I'll show you the ins inside. All right. So this one's got bucket seats, uh, roll down windows, um, kind of a period Hurst grab shifter, um, and the old, uh, boomer foot gas pedal. Um, you know, aftermarket gauges, but the interior is, is very original. I think we had the seats uh, re-upholstered or, or repainted. Uh, it's got this interesting period little uh, smaller steering wheel. Obviously not factory. Uh, I believe we've got the original key. Uh, this car does have heat, uh, aftermarket radio. But, you know, a lot of, lot of interesting little touches here. Here's, you know, you, to operate the top. You just pop this and you pop this and you hit the button over there. We'll do that here in a second. Um, you've got your high beams on the floor. Um, these seats are adjustable. Um, I'm trying to see what else is interesting back here. Yeah, full size back seats. Obviously you've got um, uh, cigarette ashtrays, but you know, you can fit four people in here comfortably to cruise around. Um, and, and this one, uh, let's see the, the odometer here. No, no tachometer, just an odometer. Um, so again, you just have to uh, shift by sound, but that's kind of, uh, you know, usually that was an option for cars back in the day. All right. So most, uh, like most older muscle cars, this doesn't have a hood latch release. Uh, the hood release is under here and it's kind of a, a two part movement. I always struggle to do this with, the phone but there's another latch under there pop it pull it up it stays open so there's the power plant um 226 big old straight six 
Uh, obviously, lots of room in here. This car was also optioned with a V8. Um, and this thing, uh, look, Edelbrock, um, probably carb there. Um, and this actually sounds pretty good. You'd be surprised. Uh, you know, it, if you didn't know it was a six, uh, you'd probably assume it was a V8. It's got a nice burble to it uh, once you fire it up. And, uh, you know, it, it, it runs pretty smooth. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So the car's already warmed up. So there's the choke down there. So I won't have to put any choke on it. Make sure it's in neutral. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, again, it doesn't, it doesn't sound bad. Listen to that. Again, if you didn't if you didn't know this was a straight six, if I just showed you this clip, you'd probably assume it was an American uh, American V8 with a cam. All right, there's her at idle. Again, really smooth and quiet. There's a little bit of a shake burble in it. But uh, yeah, this car runs really well. No major exhaust leaks. I think we had that fixed. Um, there's no uh, there's no major rust or anything on it, which really is something that kills these. Uh, interesting little mag wheel deals uh, with these hub covers kind of period. That's before Dodge really nailed down uh, what their logo was. Go ahead and close this up and I will, uh, let's try the top here. Hit, hit one latch here, I'm gonna hit the one on the other side. All right. There's the latch. And there she goes. I and mean, this is crazy for a car in the 60s and to still have this function. That's all there is to it. And now uh, and now you've got a pretty neat drop top coupe. Massive trunk. But with the top with the top down, this thing looks pretty damn good. Um so yeah, that's a that's a 65 Dodge Dart Slant 6 4 speed. Uh, this car is for sale. Uh, if you're interested in it, uh, shoot me a message or a DM or uh, call us at Sports Car Workshops and uh, come down and check it out for yourself. Again, it's a pretty rare, interesting car. And uh, if you're a Mopar guy, this would be probably something you want to see in your garage. Um, if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe. I've got a whole bunch of other automotive content and uh, put out videos weekly.